In this tutorial, you get to know how to create your individual default setting of a cabinet. At first, we go on a cabinet tab and here we click on cabinet. Here we can choose our connectors, our standard connectors. How you create your own kin connectors you will find on a different tutorial. So I choose Cabineo. Then we can choose our back. Do you want to have a groove or a flat back? If you want to have a groove, you can here change the groove, the depth of the groove, as well as the distance to the back. When we are finished with this, we go further to beneath cabinet and choose our setting for the plinth. Here we can choose beneath the cabinet or beneath the sides. Here we can change the height as well as the offset. If we click on this tab, we go to the setting of the plinth. Here we can also choose the height the distance from left, the distance to right, the distance to the front, the distance to the back. Also when we want to use plinth legs, we can set them here. So I set 10 millimeters as well as 10 millimeters and from the left I set each two millimeters and then we can save it. You see here the change. The next step we go on interior tab and here when we click to the shelf we can set our row of holes. When we click on settings, we can set our row of holes. Here the distance from the bottom, the distance from the top, distance front and back, also the depth and the diameter. Here you can also choose the distance of each hole to each other. After you have saved it, we can set our standard interior drawer. Here we want to set the Legra box. When we are finished with this, we click on our front tab. Here we can choose for the doors our hardware. Keep the blue. Now we go to draw. Here we can also change our draw. We choose the Ligra Box Pure 2. In the end we can change our standard material. You will find several tutorials about the material and other tutorials. I really recommend to watch this. So now I choose this material. We can also set a new height of the cabinet. Just click on the measurements
and here we can change the depth. As well as the width of the cabinet. When we have set all standards, we can click on the file tab and now click save standard. Here caution and press yes. So now when we start a new project, we don't want to save this. You see, we now have our standard 